know I'm rocking the feelings, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 And pull the sip and take it. Yo, what the fuck is up? You bought a cup. What up, it's your boy T-Bird here with the reaction. So I see that Tyrone Mattis and, um, what's her name? Charlo, Scarlo did a reaction to this, though. It's called Ultimate Mic Drops of the Internet, Volume 1. So I was debating if I'm going to do a trying to laugh or not. I'm going to not to see what this is all about. I'm going to let y'all determine if I should make the next one try to laugh or not if they have more of these. So while far ado, let's see the Ultimate Mic Drops of Internet, Volume 1. Let's do this. You know, I, I work too hard. I worked way too friggin' hard for this. A today. lot of people work really, really hard for their dreams, but it's not meant for everybody. That's why you use auto tune, and I don't. Ooh. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You stated that you believe there could be an infinite number of parallel universes. Does that mean that there is a universe out there where I am smarter than you? Yes, and also a universe where you're funny. Mm. Um, do you know the um, comedian Carrot Top? Yes, horrible. Well, um, you were like the uh, Carrot Top of interviewers. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. No, it's a good thing. It's yeah, a good thing. Cry now. No, don't cry now. Cry after the interview's over. Because um, otherwise, I'll look like it was. Res I'm responsible. For Yo, so, um, he petty as fuck. I didn't want to know that. I'm not surprised. Really Yo, I'm not surprised he like that as as, a, as a outside of his character though, because. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Weird fetish. Uh, she used to like to dress up as herself and then act like a raging bitch all the time. One of the things people love about you is you speak your mind and you don't use a politician's filter. However, that is not without its downsides, in particular when it comes to women. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. <laughs> Jeez, you think I was like trash the president or something? You guys are really like pulling back. It's here. worse than that for people. Everyone's got an iPhone, you know? Hey, look. No, I can't say that. I was gonna say he's gone. They still came out with another one, right? <laughs> Can I just have you say my name into the camera? Just the word Romina? Well, my name, not a word. And what's gonna happen to it? We'll oh, skip no, it. No, no. I'll do the thing. We'll skip it. But I just want to know like like what to give it. Like if we just broke up. I probably wouldn't say anything then. You're trying to find me in a crowded place. Oh, okay. Romina. That's it? I would never yeah. hear you. The thing is, I actually didn't want to find you. Actually. After getting the subpoena, you delete 33,000 emails, and then you acid wash them, or bleach them, as you would say. A very expensive process. So we're going to get a special prosecutor, and we're going to look into it, because you know what? People have been... Their lives have been destroyed for doing one fifth of what you've done, and it's a disgrace. And honestly, you ought to be ashamed of Secretary yourself. Secretary Clinton, I want to follow up on that. Yeah, I'm going to let you just talk about it now because everything he just said is absolutely false. But I'm not oh, surprised. Really? In the first debate, oh. and we, in the really, first, the debate, audience needs to I call back here. I told people that it, uh, because you know it is. Uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. Some of your critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This can hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that. You're the only one I heard say that. You know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that. You know, because it's negative and you're being negative. Life, eyes and lows. So interesting that you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, come on, come on. No, that was a piece of fuck you. That was a piece of shit. Ooh. You're doing live TV. Yeah, I don't care. What are you going to do about it? Is it nerve wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. Um, it's more nerve wracking for me to hear it's talking to a rap piece of shit like I'm Because you're a piece of shit. We are in desperate need oh, wow. of new voices in the black community. We are in desperate need of somebody that will stand a platform and say, hey, it's actually not cool to be a victim. There's no value in being a victim. You win no awards for being a victim. Unless you're Colin Kaepernick. You tweet. Ooh. I wish you did. <laughs> 
mean, in the middle of the commercial break, I want your viewers to know. You, I mean, they must know because they're probably following you on Twitter. I mean, you can't even pay attention for sixty seconds. You're a terrible interviewer. Well, you just weren't keeping my attention. That's well, but I, that's not my problem. You're, that is your problem. This is your show. You have to pay attention to the guests that you invited on is your show. Is interesting enough? Yeah, they are. Listen, it doesn't matter he's, how interesting he's I am. Like you sign up for this show. Does. Well, maybe that's why your job is coming to an end. <laughs> Number seven, Ooh. can you still dunk? And when was the last time you tried? Can I still dunk? Are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> issues at play it used to be called gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder now they call it gender dysphoria the idea that that sex or gender are malleable is not true okay and I'm not denying your humanity if you are a transgender person I am saying that you are not the sex to which you claim to be you're still a human being and you're a human being with an issue that I'm you know I wish you Godspeed in in dealing with in whatever way you see fit but if you are going to dictate to me that I'm supposed to pretend, I'm supposed to pretend that men are women and women are men, no. My answer is no. I'm not going to I'm not going to modify basic biology because it threatens your subjective sense of what you are. Okay, but you're still saying these kids should like not be accepted because they don't really fit in either place. They can't just like I'm saying that the Boy Scouts have a standard. You must be a biological boy to be a Boy Scout. You have to be a boy to be a Boy Scout. <laughs> In the name Boy Scouts. <laughs> Thank you. Like for real. Yeah. I do. Because you can never remember where all the countries are, so it's always fun to discover a new one. Yeah. Like no, nah, for real, bro. I'm like, come on, really? It's called Boy Scout. You have a Girl Scout. I mean, I know you like being, like, no, you like don't like doing girly things, but you're still a girl. Do some girl shit. Join the Girl Scouts. Boy Scouts for boys. I didn't know Nicaragua was right next to Costa Rica. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of Nicaragua? Yeah, because we schooled in England, so... <laughs> What's your advice for young people? I'd say, well... You gotta just take a deep breath mm -hmm. and give up. <laughs> Don't... The system is rigged against you. Your hard work and talent will not pay off. That's it. Good night, everybody. Damn. <laughs> 16. Can you see those against? Eight. So that means then that we then um, thank the mayor for his attendance because the assembly uh, members have decided they have no they questions to, to you. Are you saying they're abdicating their duty thank to scrutinise me? Okay. Are you saying they don't? Have, they haven't the guts to put questions to, to me? What Great is it? Um, supine protoplasmic um, invertebrate jellies. Spoon. I was lost with the taste that you said. Think that you can solve calculus at the drop of a hat? Um, I actually was trained in calculus okay. uh, for several years. Yeah, I'm a neuroscientist, so. Hold on. I, I, the... I sneaked into the room. Snuck isn't a word, Conan. And you went to Harvard and you should know that. Ooh, got you! Snuck! Past and past part of sneak! Ooh, got you! I hate the fact that he rides motorcycles. It scares me to death. Because? It's not safe. Mm -hmm. It's just not Even safe. Even with a helmet, you don't think it's good? Well, he got, he, his head, my, he don't need no helmet for his head. <laughs> <laughs> he's the most stubborn person you ever going to meet in your life. No, I disagree with you. you know what I mean, you, you, when you think about it, when you ride a motorcycle, you have to be a defensive rider. You have to be a dis defensive driver. You don't have time to talk on the phone. You don't have time not to eat. You don't have time not to do a lot of things that most people do every single day. 
which is more dangerous than riding a motorcycle. Yeah. You have to really be focused on seeing the traffic ahead. He doesn't know about this. He's never ridden a motorcycle. You never understand what it takes to be a winner. <laughs> People are tired most of the time. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Take it down. No, thanks. Please. No, thanks. A little bit. Yeah, no, thanks. Oh. <laughs> I don't know who that was. <laughs> yeah, it was Kesha. Okay. Well, I wish for the best. Go. Damn. <laughs> Are you more interesting than you look? <laughs> she was a mess. She was a mess. It's all in the mind. I have the beholder, man. What do you do? I'm a uh, business development manager for a large bank in the Northeast. <laughs> okay. Tell me if there's anything interesting about your job. Ooh. Absolutely not. No, it's interesting to me, but I'm sure that it would probably go right over your head. <laughs> okay. Why Doris? Um, Doris, uh, when she missed the question, she took up a, a larger amount of time than uh, necessary. Okay, you're always very quick, are you, Howard? <laughs> in some things, yes. In other things, I like to uh, take my time, if you know what I mean. Mm. I have absolutely no idea what you mean. <laughs> Somehow I don't doubt that. Oh! Got her! I, I feel like all because I chose not to go to college right now. It okay, wait a minute. Let, let's stop that right now. That's a complete load of crap. Now, you say you watch me and you take notes. Well, take this note. Okay. You don't have to go to college. It may not be for mm -hmm. you. I get that. It may not be for you. But if you're going to be in this world, uh, you pull your own weight. I believe you that. pull your own weight. Um, I don't. I had a long haul uh, from where I came from well, to came from. here. But here we are. Right. So the proof, yeah, the, hard. the proof of the pudding within the eating, and here we sit at the dining table. But it's hard to when you say that to some people because they say, "Oh, there you go with a pull yourself up by the bootstraps thing," and you know you're just being respectable. Not everybody can do that. Well, <laughs> can. can women be funny? Yeah, of course. Will you guys just fucking grow up and just sit down and write your own horse shit and come up with it? Start your own fucking show. Have your own award show. Quit waiting around for other people to do shit for you. That's the fucking problem. If you guys had your own big club and I was standing outside of it, you'd never fucking let me in. I'd start my own shit. You guys got to start your own shit. You got brains in there, right? Uh, I, yes, absolutely. So write your own shit and quit your fucking whining. We're all eating a giant shit sandwich out here. <laughs> Nobody cares. I don't care. When was the last time you went on stage and you killed so hard the person after you bombed if you're fucking doing that on a regular basis people are gonna notice regardless of what you have between your legs so they didn't cancel you this you canceled them you're not aware of this no i'm, I'm asking you you think i got canceled are you under the impression I, I that i got hurt canceled you, I, I hurt you jerry i thought don't, that was pretty well documented this is a show is this little down. cnn don't most shows go down a little most people do also no i i went off the air. i was the number one show on television larry you were do you know who i am <laughs> <laughs> jewish guy brooklyn yes okay 75 what? million viewers okay. last episode what you don't it take like it dance. so bad well, that's a, that's a big difference between being canceled and being number one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll be right back. Jeez. And it says, you're required to leave below address after the 29th of June, 2016. It's fucking bullshit, all right? We spent so much time, now we got to move because of some homophobe. We get one complaint and we get kicked out. It's, it's fucking bullshit. Plus, if you're going to be a landlord in Brighton, the gay capital of UK, Maybe try not be a fucking prejudiced piece of shit. How about that? I could buy this house. I don't fucking need you, all right? I'm mad at Ooh. that guy. Who the hell does he think he is? You don't talk about religion or politics. And if he's Catholic, what are we going to do? Pray him into heaven? I don't think it'll work. I'm very offended. Tell him that he is wrong. Maybe you wrong. tell him. Don't tell me. You tell him, Jim. She's pissed off at you. All right, so you're saying that you don't think that God has a sense of humor? Yes, I do. He created you. 
boy, yeah, you just came out here with your claws well, your, out, your didn't you? Your tone and your behavior is just downright Christian, I just really, lady. Do we, you have to go to purgatory and we have to pray you into heaven? Is that it? <laughs> Uh, lady, look, the applications for the Third Reich are over, all right? <laughs> you know what? You have freedom of speech, but didn't your mom and dad teach you there's two things you don't talk about, and that's religion and politics? And you're on the radio, the bomb, for God's sake. I'm very offended. You're offended? Yes. Well, I, you should watch this movie called Inherit the Wind, all you right? You watch Armageddon, okay? <laughs> all right. You mean with Bruce Willis? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trust me, man. Well, you stepped right into that one. I'm sorry. No, with Satan. Why don't you read a little bit about what Jesus said, all right? And instead exactly of what your preacher's what telling you what to say. If you didn't read the Bible, how do you know so much? Well, maybe that's called irony, all right? <laughs> well, you know what? You're a joke. All right. Well, just tell me where your glass house is. <laughs> well, I don't have a glass house. I don't live in one, and neither do you. But I don't appreciate what you said. I don't think it's funny at all. I guess you won't be wanting free tickets to the show at the improv, then, will you? Well, I would love it as an apology. That would be awesome. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm not what? kidding. I'm serious as a hot bone. Oh, now, why would you want to come and time. see a sinner like me? Yeah, I sin. I don't have angel wings. Do you? <laughs> what? Whoa! <laughs> Did she go? Did she go? I, I think she's gone. I, I I should rephrase that. I think it's a glass trailer. Damn! I. Right. This is pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. This is pretty good. Some bit good about uh, Mike drops though. Some of them was pretty funny. Some was like some serious burr. My goodness. But anyway, if if I should keep doing this, should I do this at a try not to laugh or not? Y'all let me know for real. Well than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.